Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday and I have a really, really busy day today actually. I am currently walking to go meet my friend Katie for coffee and Katie is one of another one of my friends from back home in Tennessee. So we're gonna meet up and grab some coffee. I haven't seen her in probably like 10 years I wanna say. So it's gonna be really cool. She moved to LA recently. We're gonna catch up and it's just another one of my hometown Tennessee friends that lives out here, so exciting. And then I'm actually hanging out with Macy later on today so that'll be really fun fun social plans day also I need you to know that somebody just walked past me and like fully saw me do that entire thing and I had to just pretend that everything was fine and it was but that was really awkward and I'm really brave for that okay made it home vlogged absolutely nothing um whoops it was so nice to see Katie and catch up and meet her daughter. I've just changed into like something a little different and I'm heading out for lunch with Macy. So I put on this thrifted shirt. I got it at the Rose Bowl. This is like my favorite Iron Maiden shirt. I also sleep in this. These wide leg cargos are from Target. They're like a corduroy material and then my Panda Nike Dunks and then this thrifted sweatshirt. So back out we go. Let's hit the road. Can I zoom in on your shirt? Oh my god. This is your sign from the universe that I'm hot. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Good morning. It's actually a few days later. It is the following, oh, is the following Tuesday. And I'm headed off to do something like semi-spontaneous, but also something that I've been wanting to do for a while, basically since I got my last one, which is get another tattoo. And I'm not getting one tattoo today. I'm getting two. That's very exciting. I'm just going by myself. I found an artist that was recommended by a couple of people on my Instagram. She's in downtown LA, so I need to drive out there and I've never met her before. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm getting tatted today. I'm so excited. I'm wearing yet another wide leg pant situation today because I just can't seem to get enough. My hair is slicked back. I have so much gel in my hair right here because it's dirty and I did a really intense workout this morning and I didn't have enough time to wash it. So anyways, okay, outfit details, got my little cherry earrings on. I don't remember where I got these. I got these for a video, but I've never worn them out, so I thought, why not? We have this little tank top that is from H&M, as well as these pants. I'll show a better view. So here are what the pants look like. They're a little bit big, but the size down were like a little bit tight, so we're just gonna rock with it. And then my black Converse, the platform ones, very comfortable. I have a black cardigan on for like the journey, basically, or if I get cold, but obviously I'm gonna need to have my arms free. Well, I guess it's not obvious, but the two Two tattoos I am getting today are actually on my arms. So anyways, okay. I packed myself a little bag situation in my London Notting Hill bag that I almost accidentally stole because I had a lapse in judgment and didn't know where I was. So inside this bag, we have my water bottle. We have actually my Erewhon leftovers that I just heated up. Is it steaming right now? I think you can see it. Drew and I took a few mile walk yesterday and we stopped by Erewhon on the way back and got some lunch and this is the leftover. So we have some buffalo, cauliflower, which is delicious, Korean short ribs, and then underneath that is Japanese sweet potatoes. So yeah, that was like the leftovers from yesterday. So got two lunches out of it. I'm gonna eat that like on the way or when I get there. We have my raspberry lime sparkling water. This one's from Trader Joe's. Got my purse, got my money. I think I have everything I need. I've become a bag lady. Like I bring a giant bag with me everywhere I go. Anyways, we're gonna hop in the car, head downtown and go get tatted. Let's do it. I sounded very millennial when I said that and I do not care. Let's go. Alright, we're home, made it back, and these are my new babies. So I'll give you like a little rundown in a second, but I wasn't allowed to film. They were pretty strict about like no filming in there. Obviously, respect to the process. Oh, I still have my driving glasses on. So, okay. Where can I set you down? Oh my goodness! Did I not say hi to you for long enough? I'm sorry. I'm just telling people that I got a tattoo for you. And you're not even grateful. Just kidding. <laughs> 
she's had enough of me. So this tattoo, how can I like show this up close? So this little guy, or little lady I should say, is for Miss Layla Bear. I have called her Layla Bear her entire life. I've had her since she was, oh, there she goes squeaking on her toy. She was around three or four months old when I got her. It was hard to know because the rescue that I got her from just sort of like guessed, but um, like I've called her Layla Bear and Bear most of her life. But over the last like probably three, four years, it's become way was. <laughs> That's like become her nickname, but she is and always will be Layla Bear. And so I got this for her. Super cute, next to my England tattoo, which got massively messed up. We'll talk about that in a bit. And then on the back, on my tricep right here, oh my God, this lighting though. Sorry for the bad lighting, but here it is. This is actually, oh my God, it's like already peeling. I have like the protective stuff on it. But this is my, actually my grandparents' old address. Um, they've All my grandparents have since passed away, but this, house like means the world to me and i grew up moving like a ton i'm not obviously tattoos don't have to have meaning by the way i'm just giving like a, a brief synopsis of why i wanted to get these i moved a lot growing up and i never really had like roots anywhere and i would say like the one place that really really felt like home was my grandparents house so that house you know even though it's like gone and not in our family anymore it's just like a huge part of me and who made me into who i am so anyways that's my little tattoo tour. And yeah, this little smiley face guy that I got when I was in England. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything because I didn't want to sound shady, but actually, by the way, Alexa's like healed fine and it looks great. Mine did not. And so I was just like, oh, I must've done something wrong in the healing process. Like I must've worn the plastic for too long or I, who knows. And when I was getting this tattoo put on, <laughs> the tattoo artist goes, um, how long have you had that other one? And I go, since September and she goes, what? And she was like, that tattoo is extremely blown out, which means that the tattoo artist like dug way too deep into your skin with the needle as far as I understand. So basically it made it into this sort of like wonky smiley face, which actually kind of adds a little bit of character. And she asked me originally if it was stick and poke. Like that's how not straight it is, which is so weird because I specifically remember Jasmine going, how have you made that circle so perfect? Like it was a perfect circle when I got it done. And now it kind of looks more squiggly. But honestly, that sort of gives it a little bit of character and just makes it not so perfect circle type of thing. And I don't mind. Maybe I'll get it touched up eventually, but probably not. And it just kind of gives it extra character. But yeah, the tattoo artist was like, that was not done very well. And I was like, oh. So anyways, that's the tea, that's what's going on, that's the update, and now I'm gonna probably get into some comfy clothes, do some work, and chill on the couch. It is the next day, and I've just been doing a bunch of computer work and stuff today, like very much an admin kind of day. A new main channel video went up. I made a hair appointment, and um, you're gonna be seeing that in the next vlog because it's just a little drab. It's been like two months now, pretty much exactly, since I got my hair done, and it's like the toner that I got has faded a lot, and it's sort of like lighter colored down here, and then like my roots are growing out, so anyway. It's like 2.30, I'm gonna take a little break before I do some exercise. Well, I can't really exercise after a tattoo, which is something that I forgot about. And I currently am filming a 30 days of exercise video, so whoops. So I'll probably just do some like yoga or stretching or something, like something where I won't sweat because I'm not allowed to sweat for like at least four days. But before I do that, I'm going to hang up some stuff in the living room because a few weeks ago we went to the Rose Bowl flea market and we got a couple pieces for the walls and we like totally redid the bathroom. I forgot to show that. And there's a couple pieces that we like moved around from the living room, my office, etc. So anyways, basically like the background of our living room has been like red random pieces of art sitting on the couch and the floor for the last couple weeks. So I need to just like do that. So I'm gonna, you know, attempt to make it look nice. I don't really have everything I want, but I thought I would show you the bathroom first cause it turned out so cute. So this is the bathroom currently. We sort of redid it for like a bit of a darker theme. We still have all of the like funky colorful stuff and we'll still very much like switch it out. But for now, this is what we're going with. And these towels are actually old. And the only reason they're hanging up right now is because we did laundry so actually these are the towels that we have been using in there they're just currently cleaned and ready to be rotated when we do our laundry next I actually went shopping at Nordstrom Rack on my birthday with my mom and we found these and it's just so cute looking so anyways okay these bath mats 
are new. They're like a dark chocolate brown. They're like memory foam. They're so nice. They go really well with the towels here and sort of like the vintage vibes. And then these little chocolate brown hand towels are really cute as well. And then we have a kind of like sort of mini tiny gallery wall in here which i think is so cute so this i got an estate sale i'm pretty sure or maybe the thrift store oh i think i got this when i was visiting alexa one time that's really cute that was like a dollar i got this frame also from a thrift store i don't even remember the picture that it had in it but when drew and i did like a dark academia themed guest bedroom in our old house that's what that was from and then these four little pieces are new and they're all from the rose bowl and they're all so cute these two are my favorites we have like a little lighthouse and then a little farmhouse how cute and we have these jolly fellows playing some instruments I kind of love that and then this sort of like farmhousey looking mirror but I think it goes with all of it and then we have this tapestry that's from Urban Outfitters and everything else is the same don't mind my bath tray that I accidentally knocked into the bathtub when I walked past it at like four o'clock in the morning so here's sort of like the overview of what we have um this we got at the Rose Bowl and then this we got at the Rose Bowl so we kind of want to like we moved some stuff we kind of want to like have maybe one on this wall and one on this wall and do two maybe mini gallery walls then we also have this piece which was hanging up in our old house and this was actually made i've shown this before but this was made by drew's great uncle like handmade by him um and it's really freaking cool and then it's on top of this vintage what is this called chest trunk, trunk thank you um and this was drew's great grandfather's i think pretty cool um so we're gonna like maybe hang this up on the wall here and put like a little mini plant or something i don't know our walls in this apartment are covered with like the cheapest paint you have ever seen in your entire life and also there's like a thick layer of plaster underneath the paint so you can't drill into the wall so we basically found these hooks on amazon that carry up to like i think it's like 15 pounds and they've worked really really well so far and they've stuck like amazingly so we're gonna use some of those to hang up this new art and you are gonna see some pieces of paint ripped from the wall it just is what it is we can't drill and then drew's going like this I didn't do any of it. <laughs> you did most of it he's laughing it is what it is like what do you expect just to just have bare walls i'm sorry no and i'm just really hoping for the best drew's gonna give me some input he's currently playing the switch on the couch right now he's taking a break from work as well uh, <laughs> if you need him this is where he'll be Alright, this is what we've arrived at. I actually really like it a lot. I probably maybe will eventually put something here, possibly, but it looks really cool. I actually really like it. And we were just saying the thing that's cool about it is this is the only new piece. And I mean, we paid $20 for it at a flea market. Everything else we already had, so that's pretty amazing. And we're gonna eventually put a little something on here, something obviously really light, like a little fake plant or I don't know. But yeah, there we go. There we have it. Layla's in here. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. We also got this piece at the Rose Bowl, and it says on the back that it was made in Mexico. And I think it's so cute. It just adds a little something. We're gonna put our books back here. We moved stuff for Christmas time. But yeah, love it. Thrifted lamp, old chest, what's it called again? Trunk, <laughs> little flea market find. Most of this stuff is secondhand. Now we still. <laughs> Six months after moving in, I think. Six months like tomorrow. Seven months tomorrow. After moving in, we still have no idea what to do with this wall, but you know, we'll get there. Yeah, maybe we'll get like a tapestry or something. We did have those records, but I think they look better over there. So anyway, 
We'll figure it out. We are heating up leftovers for dinner. We're being very fancy tonight. Last night we made half-baked harvest sun-dried tomato chicken pasta, and it was pretty good. We needed to like add some more flavor to it, like it wasn't seasoned enough, but it was good. So we had a ton, it was so much food. We're gonna have those leftovers for dinner, and that's pretty much gonna do it for this vlog. So thank you for being here, thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient as I get back into the swing of things and <laughs> just get used to like vlogging my life again after taking pretty much like a month off. And I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye from us and our pasta.